Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. <coughs> so this is a video that I'm shooting for tomorrow and then there'll be a three-day break um, and where I'm going to be shooting and catching up for the next. Okay, so we're doing chapter 3 verse 2 today. <coughs> um, so let me sing it. <coughs> Vyami Shrene Vakena Bodhim Mohaya Siva Me Tade Kambada Nishchitya Yena Shri Yohamap Noyam So Vyami Shrene Vakena Vyami Shrene Vakena so, okay, the translation, full translation is, my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal instructions. Therefore, please tell me decisively which will be most beneficial for me. So Arjun is saying, in the previous verse, he said, he, why are you asking me if you're saying that uh, um, buddhi is more intelligent, more intelligence is more important than um, uh, fight? Fighting. Why are you asking me to do this ghor paap? Like ghor, uh, he didn't use the word paap, but um, why are you asking me to fight? Do this horrible thing like fight, you know? Um, so now he's continuing that. That's why Swami Mukandananda has both one and two here. In the previous one, he's saying, Oh, Janardhan, if you consider knowledge superior to action, why do you ask me to wage this terrible war? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, Vyami Shrena, uh, Vyami Shrena va Vakena, by equivocal, certainly words, um, Buddhim Mohaya Siva Me, intelligent, you are bewildering me. So, you are bewildered, my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal decisions. My intelligence, my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal words therefore only one please tell certainly please tell me only one thing with decision like with with certainty with with a decision please tell me only one thing ekam one thing so <clears throat> by which real benefit shreya i can get real benefit aham i may have by which i may have real benefit my intelligence is bewildered by your equivocal instructions therefore please tell me decisively which will be most beneficial for me so let me read the swami mukandananda one as well my intellect is bewildered by your ambiguous advice please tell me decisively the one path <coughs> sorry um ekam by which i may attain the highest good shreya the highest good. Okay. <clears throat> Vami Shreneva. Mishra is mixed and Vami Shreneva is very deeply mixed. So, um, this the commentary of uh, Chaitanya Charan Prabhu is very good here. So, I'm going to read through that a, a bit more. So, the first line is Eva and second line is Eva. I don't know the difference. It didn't I get didn't get very clear a lot of clarity. But Arjun sees two options: inactivity and in renouncing, which is buddhi; activity in fighting, which is vikarma. Um, so here he ex explained there are four levels. So that Krishna has spoken of. I haven't seen him speak of Gyan Yoga. So, but these are the four levels. Gyan Yoga. Maybe he speaks in this chapter. He speaks of Gyan Yoga. So, Gyan Yoga, renounced activity and no fighting. Nishkam Karm Yoga, renounced activity and fighting for liberation. So, Nishkam means without without fruit, without the desire for the fruit. Just fighting um, or not fighting. Doing your karm, doing your work without the desire for the fruit. In karm kand, um, fruitive activities and fighting for heaven. So karm kand means doing your work and wanting the fruit. Vikarm, sinful activity and giving up fighting. So Krishna has rec recommended um, Nishkam Karm Yoga from 238 to 272. And also he has said that, uh, um, yeah, so one, when, um, yeah, so 231 to 237, 38, he's talked about Karm Khan, the fruitive activity, work to attain heaven. So you work because you want fruit, because you want um, heavens, because you want the, the results of your fruit. Vikar means working sinfully, acting against one, 
one's dharma. So that's vikarma is just really bad. Karmkand is also not really, you're not going to really get liberation there. You're going to get heavens, you're going to get higher planes, but you're not going to get real, real I mean, that's not what. So Krishna from 238 to 272 has talked about Nishkarm Karmyog, and nowhere in that, after 238, he's not said fight. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, um, Krishna said to give up your duty, give up fighting is vikarm. So do not give up because that is vikarm. Um, that is the opposite of what he said. Um, yeah, so the, why is the misconception happened? Because Arjun, mis he talked about buddhi and intelligence of all over, right? 238 to 272. So 249, he talks about uh, buddhi, saying buddhi is superior to avaram karm, inauspicious work. So keep aside inauspicious work. So um, yeah, in 249, he condemns karm kant compared to nishkam karm yoga. And Arjun thinks fighting is condemned as compared to gyan. Which so then Krishna will start to answer like why are you asking me to fight? Um, yeah, so from 238 Krishna has not specifically said do not. I mean that's I'm reading from Chaitanya Charan Prabhu. So I'm not able to find it here exactly where he said that, but uh, he said he's never he's never said fight. He's talked about all these principles, but he's not said fight. So Arjun is now going back to that, um, and this is something that has happened so far also. Krishna answers Arjun asks the question Krishna answers he gives some concepts and then Arjun go, goes back his focus is one um, focus is why should I fight so he keeps coming back he keeps bringing this back to that like why are you asking me to fight should I fight or not he's very clear on that so he will listen to the concepts that Bhagavan Sri Krishna is saying and then he'll come back and he'll be like okay but how does this relate to me fighting should I fight or not why are you asking me to fight? Can you please explain? And here he's also explaining it. He's also asking in such a beautiful way because he he's addressing Krishna twice. I'm getting emotional. He's addressing Krishna twice in the first verse, and he's and he's saying, please give me just one thing. Oh, and then there's one thing um, here. He's saying, please tell me decisively which is which will be the one thing that will be most beneficial to me. And uh, I think it's in here. He's saying. Um, yeah, that I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I think Chaitanya Charan Prabhu said it. That I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I want to learn from you. So please, like he's he is in total humility mode even in here when he's saying, he, um, I don't understand. Please explain to me. I don't understand. I want to understand. Please help me understand. Um, so total humility and total love for Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Um, okay, that's it for right now. I'll be taking a three-day break. Uh, wish you all a very, very beautiful next three days. And uh, um, yeah, stay in the energy. And uh, Radhe Radhe.